Y'all, now Mark is coming out to expose his little boot thing as a gold digger. Marcus Jordan and Larsa Pippen have been a thing for about two years now. And just when we thought that things were looking up for them, Marcus came out to reveal that he and Larsa have officially broken up. But not only did they break up, Marcus strongly believes that the only reason that Larsa put moves on him was because she wanted to get her hands on his family fortune. And she forced him to spend thousands of dollars on her in the two years that they dated. He is now dragging her and calling her out for being a gold digger. So let's get into it. Uh, did he really try to sue her to get his money back? So it looks like there was definitely trouble in paradise between Marcus Jordan and his boo thing, Larsa Pippen, because they are now taking cheap shots at each other on social media. And insiders are reporting that things are hella messy behind the scenes, with Marcus claiming that Larsa was only after his money the entire time. And I don't think a lot of people would be surprised by this news, because we all had our reservations about the relationship from the moment we found out they were a thing. Now, these two first chose to go public with their love last year and they immediately started to get a lot of hate for it with the people in the industry and even fans showing their disapproval of the relationship but if you're wondering why people had such a strong opinion about their whole relationship it's because they found it super creepy like real creepy now everybody knows that there's an age difference that kind of seems almost inappropriate between them because larsa is a whole whopping 16 years older than marcus yeah, she's almost visibly 50, and he's only 33. So yeah, I know they're both adults, but listen, 16 years is a whole lot of age for an age gap, raising a whole bunch of eyebrows. And yes, it caused a lot of commotion online, sparking conversations among fans who debated whether it was okay or the whole age thing was just weird. Some fans thought it was no big deal because men do it all the time, while others thought that there was something wrong with their relationship, especially because people would would have had a weird reaction if Marcus was a woman dating a man who was way older. Especially since Marcus and Larsa had known each other when he was a kid. This was the part that really had people up in arms. In case you haven't put two and two together and arrived at four, let me spell it out for y'all plainly. Larsa is the ex-wife of the former NBA player Scottie Pippen, that old man. And do y'all remember who Scotty used to play with in the Chicago Bulls in the 90s? Yes, Michael Jordan. You know the same Michael Jordan who is Marcus's father? Yeah, that made the relationship thing more weird because she definitely knew him when he was a child. At the time, Scotty and Larson were already married and Marcus was born at the time. Now, if you're familiar with the NBA scene, you know that basketball families tend to stick together off the court too. Yeah, I know MJ and Scotty had their issues at the time and they had been beefing for years but their families would have mixed at some point or another in their careers. So this means that Larsa has known Marcus since he was a child and she was a fully grown woman in her 20s. Again, I know that Marcus is a grown man now and he could do whatever he wants to, but a lot of people been feeling a type of way about these cougars in the industry and how Larsa could have even gotten attracted to someone that she knew before he was even in high school. Now, I'm not judging. I'm just telling y'all what the streets are saying and why this relationship has been getting a lot of hate. Well, the relationship got so much hate that Larsa had to come out and deny that she was a weird weirdo who was dating someone she knew as a child, saying that even though their families mixed, she never ran into Marcus. She left a comment under a post by the Shade Room saying, I just met him three years ago. I never knew him or his family. I was 21 years old and in college when Scotty played that one year with MJ and we weren't friends with them like everyone thinks. Well, it's kind of hard to believe that Larsa and a lot of people didn't buy what she was selling. She was forced to address the allegations again in an interview with Tamron Hall, where she claimed claimed that she met him four years ago for the first time at a party. Well, I feel like we, we literally just met at a party um, four years ago. Oh, really? And we were just friends. Because we we all lived in Chicago. And yeah. When did you meet him? Four years ago. Four years, at where a party. At a party, I, like an LA party. Did you know who he was at the time? Now again, folks just weren't buying it because the story wasn't mad then. And there was talk about how she was just saying that because they were just getting so much hate, negativity on social media. So she was trying to cover her cougar tracks. Now to be fair, she definitely did need to cover her tracks because she was getting an insane amount of hate and backlash from everybody. However, a lot of people believe that she could have avoided a lot of hate if she only handled things the right way from the beginning. 
See, when she and Marcus first started hanging out, she was acting all secretive like she knew she was stepping into murky waters, and people pointed out how she wasn't even acknowledging the relationship at first. And the only reason that we found out about the relationship was because an insider spilled the tea saying, Barca and Marcus Jordan are casually hanging out. The two have a lot of the same friends, so they have been around one another a lot and enjoy hanging out. They are having fun together. They also added, Barca's divorce from Scotty was finalized at the beginning of this year, and she's enjoying that freedom. So yeah, Larsa continued to play coy and deny the relationship, and when she was asked about her relationship in an interview, she flat out denied being with Marcus, claiming that she was just friends with him, and he was her B-U-D-D-E-Y. People were reading more into it than there actually was. People say you're dating. I have a lot of friends. I mean, I'm very social. I was married for 23 years. Like, this is the time for me to really like hone in on my relationships. So that's kind of what I'm doing. No, it didn't take long for people to catch her in that lie. Because a couple of days after she denied dating him, paparazzi pictures of them kissing hit the internet. Quickly went viral and people slammed Larsa for a bold-faced lion. Now, the interesting thing about this is that Larsa admitted that she and Marcus first started hanging out and she stored his name under a fake alias. Yeah, that definitely doesn't seem innocent, Larsa. What's up with that? She said, I could never really put you under your name in my phone, so I had you under Mark Jacob. I didn't want anyone to know when you called me. The fact that she was being so secretive about it, even from the people in her innermost circle, made it even shadier. But Larsa was determined to make fans support the relationship by hook or crook, so she claimed that Marcus's dad, MJ, was cool with the relationship and it was all good vibes. Have you met Michael Jordan and Juanita Jordan, and what did they say about the relationship? You know, I don't really, I mean, of course, I recently have not, you know, I've recently been hanging out with them, um, but I don't really want to talk about them. I feel like it's not about, you know, my parents or his parents, they're all happy, our whole family's fine. But lies, Larsa, lies, because as it turns out, she might have been stretching her fibs a little bit too much. But what a tangled web we weave when we conspire to deceive. Because MJ was in Paris a few weeks after Marcus and Larsa went public, and the paparazzi hit him with the question of whether he gave his blessing to Marcus and Larsa. And this is what MJ said. Hey, Mr. Jordan, what do you think about Marcus and Larsa pipping together? Do you approve of it? No. You don't approve? Yeah, definitely a bad look because Larsa looked desperate and it showed just how much MJ disapproved of the relationship. But at first, like a little lovesick puppy, Marcus wasn't here for his dad speaking on his relationship because he immediately arranged for an interview with E.T. where he tried to claim that everyone misunderstood his dad's comments. He said, I think my family just wants to see me happy. And so as long as I'm happy, they're happy with it. You know, where I'm living. Everybody had an opinion at first and I think there was some shock and interest early on, but I think that was the whole point of us trying to spend some family time together. Well, y'all, it didn't take long for things to go left for Marcus and Larsa. And the next thing we knew, they unfollowed each other on social media. Rumors started flying about that they had broken up and Larsa confirmed the rumors when she started throwing shade on Marcus's Instagram. Like this poll on Instagram where she asked if it was okay to ask her friends to unfollow her ex. Yes, definitely messy and insiders reported that Marcus was completely broken about the breakup and was torn up about the whole thing. But Larsa, on the other hand, was absolutely unbothered. And the insider hinted that she was all about the money, all about the ding ding da da ding ding. But Marcus didn't think it was funny because Larsa apparently dumped him because the money wasn't rolling in. According to a source, Larsa needs a man that is a bit more mature and financially stable. Marcus was fun, but Larsa's looking for someone that she can build a life with. So it sounds like the money wasn't coming in, so Larsa dipped. Well, we thought that was the end of the drama, but the next thing we knew, they had made up again. They even spent Valentine's Day together. But it's something more to this because it looks like the breakup had Marcus opening up his purse strings to drop a bag on Larsa. And they were spotted on a shopping spree at Hermes, where it was clear that he spent heavily on her. They were spotted on a date and sparked romance rumors when Larsa was spotted with a huge rock on her finger, leading people to believe that Marcus had proposed to her. Well, Larsa also hinted that the reason for the breakup was because she was not being loved the right way saying i was just emotional and impulsive i guess i'm a cancer so i'm an emotional person so i feel like if you're not loving me the right way i can distance myself and to catch a beat 
You mean you can ditch somebody in a heartbeat? Well, this explains why Marcus took her on that expensive spree after she took him back. And don't get me even started on the huge ring that probably cost him thousands of hundreds of thousands of dollars. But that clearly wasn't enough for Larsa because she just dumped Marcus again. But a source spilling the tea said, Larsa is focusing on her exciting new chapter now. She's always been someone who is ambitious and driven. She needs a match who has those similar qualities. She also had been giving some shade to Marcus, posting six videos and stuff like that. She said, allow me to reintroduce myself and humble enough to know I can lose it all, confident enough to know I can get it all back. Now, if you're wondering how Marcus is taking this, well, word on the streets is that he is furious at Larsa because he now believes that she was after money all along. Newsflash, Marcus, duh. According to an insider, he believes that Larsa was only after his inheritance, given that his father, MJ, is a billionaire. And Larkus stands to inherit a nice chunk of that money. The insider claims that Larsa used to force Marcus to spend a lot of money on her, getting lavish gifts and clothes and all types of stuff like that. This lavish shopping spree that he took her on after they got back together was proof. Well, fans have been leaving comments saying, the funny thing is her co-workers on Housewives of Miami, who are in their 50s, didn't believe he was going to stay with her either. And when they tried to talk to her about it, she would get mad at them. I'm in my 50s and would never do that if I were single. She's ridiculous. Marcus probably had a childhood crush on her and probably jumped at the chance to be with her, knowing that it wouldn't last. And, yeah, I think Mike finally got through to him with the man talk. It's embarrassing for the family for him to be subservient to a mother figure. Yeah, y'all, this is cougar season for real between Drea and Larsa. I don't know who's the more cougar. Drop your thoughts in comments below. Would you date somebody 16 years or younger than you? Let me know and then check out this next video.